Today, I will show you the proof that relates the radius of the circle and the segments A, B, C, and D. So let's begin. So given the circle, let's draw two perpendicular chords with corresponding lengths A, B, C, and D. Now, let R be the radius of the circle. Our goal in this video is to show you the proof that relates the segments A, B, C, D, and the radius R. Namely, 4R squared equals A squared plus B squared plus C squared plus D squared. So let's begin. Alright. Now, in order to show the relationship of these segments A, B, C, D, and the radius R, namely 4R squared equals A squared plus B squared plus C squared plus D squared, what we're going to do is to draw a small rectangle inside our circle such that one of its vertex is in the center of this circle. Alright, and now let's call the side length of this rectangle be equal to x and the y. Why not? You can use m and n, s and t, but in this video, I will use x and y. So now, we will use some right triangles because if we put the radius like this, we can draw a right triangle. And also, we can drop the radius right over here and draw a right triangle. So now, we have two right triangles right over here. And these two right triangles will help us to show this relationship. All right. Now, what we're going to do is to know first what is the length of this segment. And we will use this concept. It says that if the diameter of a circle is perpendicular to the chord, then the diameter bisects the chord and its arc. Now, notice, if we draw, if we extend this segment like this, like this, we have the diameter of this circle. So it bisects this chord measures A plus B. So now, we will use this concept in our proof. So now, what is the measure of this segment? We know this is half of the segment of A plus B. So the length of this segment must be equal to A plus B all over 2, or half of the segment A plus B. And how about this segment? This is half of the segment C plus D, or simply equal to C plus D all over 2. Now, using Pythagorean theorem and this first right triangle, we can say that R squared equals A plus B over 2 raised to the power of 2 plus X squared. And using the second right triangle, we can say that R squared equals C plus D over 2 raised to the power of 2 plus Y squared. Now, let's focus on these two equations. Now, if we get the value of x and y in terms of a, b, c, and d, then we're fine because this is just r and a, b, c, d. So now, let's find out what is the value of this x in terms of c and d. So this is x, and this is a rectangle, so we know this is also x. Now, if we add this x and c plus d over 2, we get a total of segment D. So we can say that X plus C plus D over 2 must be equal to D. Now, we can solve for the value of X in terms of C and D. Now, D minus C plus D over 2, we can rewrite this as 2D minus C minus D all over 2. And 2D minus D, this will give us D. So X can be rewrite as D minus C all over 2. This is good because x here is represented by d and c. Now, if we do the same thing in this y, y plus a plus b all over 2 must be equal to b. And using the same method for x, we can get that y must be equal to b minus a all over 2. All right, now let's replace this x and this y with it's equivalent like this. Now at this point, let's focus on these two equations. And we are now ready to prove this relationship of R and ABCD. Alright. 
So now, what we're going to do is to expand a plus b over 2 raised to the power of 2. And this will give us a squared plus 2ab plus b squared all over 4. Now, we will do the same thing in the second expression. So d minus c all over 2 raised to the power of 2. This will give us d squared minus 2cd plus c squared all over 4. And of course, we will do the same thing on the other equations like this. Now, let's observe the denominator. We have all denominator force. So what we're going to do is to add these two equations. Because technically speaking, when we have the same denominator, we can add those fractions. All right. And the left-hand side, we have r squared plus r squared or simply equal to 2r squared. Now, since we have the same denominator, take note, we just add the numerator. And if we add the numerator, we see that we eliminate positive 2ab and negative 2ab. This is just 0. Also, negative 2cd and positive 2cd is also gone or simply equal to 0. So what's left is a squared plus b squared over 4 up to b squared plus a squared all over 4. Now let's focus on this result. Now, if we add the numerator, we get 2a squared, we have 2b squared, we have 2c squared, and we have 2b squared. So our numerator becomes 2a squared plus 2b squared plus 2c squared plus 2d squared all over 4. Of course, we can factor out the factor of 2 on the numerator like this. And if we divide both sides by 2, we eliminate 2 on the left-hand side and 2 on the right-hand side. So this will give us r squared equals a squared plus b squared plus c squared plus d squared all over 4. Finally, if we multiply both sides by 4, we get 4r squared equals a squared plus b squared plus c squared plus d squared, which is this relationship. There you go. Given this situation, we have perpendicular chords with the side length a, b, c, and d. Then we get the radius r using this relationship for r squared equals a squared plus b squared plus c squared plus d squared. And as always, we are done.